Here we go, here we go, welcome to Mighty Guga Plays for you, this is Mighty Guga and today we are at episode 11 of the university. Yes, we are playing HSK mod pack for RimWorld, the greatest mod pack ever. And if you are enjoying this this far, uh, please don't forget to give me a like, share the video and give me some uh, buzz on the channel. It helps me a lot. So let's get to the game, we have a whole bunch of things to cover. And it's going to be very important that we do. Alright, so I have been playing the game uh, a little bit off screen. If you guys don't remember, we just left the other episode uh, after we had a serious raid. We had a whole bunch of people like very hurt, badly hurt. I have to ju uh, juggle around some medical beds. But we captured Jackie. Uh, I think we're gonna bring her to the colony. She's an undergrounder, pretty and kind. She has some nice skills here that we can work on. Uh, and everyone is already okay. So for the first thing that we changed for this winter, I brought the muffalos inside. I lost one uh, because of a leopard attack. He got infected and he died. The muffalo died. But I also, and you guys, the more astute of you has already perceived these, that I upgraded our fridge. So now we have a whole bunch more space and we can take care of food uh, with a little more comfort. And of course, I also added floors after researching floor two, floors two, flooring two. I added floors, better floors for a whole bunch of rooms here. We still have plans for this room. I'm going to talk about this in a little bit. But so our kitchen, our dining room got real better. And our overall workshop and rec area is very, very nice. And people are walking much faster. I don't know if you recall, we had marshes here. And that would slow down people a lot. So this is giving us a lot of efficient and a lot of bonus as well. If you take a look here, uh, we can see extremely comfortable uh, and spacious interior. We had another buff here, but I just lost that buff because I wanted to move the recreational facility outside so uh, we don't get cabin fever. But as soon as we build a uh, recreational facility here, we get another five or six bonus points for mood uh, because of a uh, impressive rec room. And that's what we are aiming for when I started this huge hall over here. The bedrooms are still small, so they're not affecting us too much. They're not affecting us positively neither, but uh, it's doing our, all right. We have a shortage of beds and we're going to have to work on that real soon. I also changed the well to a better symmetric position here. I'm going to deconstruct this one. Is this one filled? As soon as this one is filled, I'm going to deconstruct this one. And I also built a tub and I expanded, uh, expanded our bathroom area over here. I might as well, I think, uh, destroy this wall and make this a huge bathroom. Maybe I should do that. Let's deconstruct this. And uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Ah, oh, they already cut him. We just... Uh, hunted uh, a raptor. I was with the impression that uh, we would get a lizard reptile letter from the raptor, but that was not the case. We just got feather raptor, so we're gonna have to use that for another thing. And I'm saying that, and why I'm looking for a uh, lizard letter is because we need to build a bed with this, because a medical bed with this, and this is gonna be our medical facility a medical bed with this is much much more uh, efficient fighting uh, diseases so this is pretty much it oh one last thing I of course I built our furnace I finally finished I reorganized our textiles um, I reorganized this uh, stockpile so it's a little bit more uh, you know symmetric and I started I finally got to power. I jumped right ahead from, let me go over here, from steel, uh, steam generator to coal power, and that is good. Uh, uh, a, coal, a coal power machine will provide 2,000 uh, 
energy points while a steam generator will only provide 750 watts so um, we don't have to take care of this right now so this is very good and why did I do that specifically because with the increased area of our freezer when comes summer uh, we're gonna need some cooling devices so this is what I'm gonna be doing right now I'm just gonna go to temperature and I'm gonna start a cooler we need 70 I believe we have everything we need and I'm gonna oh, oh yes a cooler. a cooler why can I Oh, the cooler requires terrain. And we don't have the terrain. So, what are we going to do here? I'm going to go with natural floors. This is something interesting. Usually the wall would act as a terrain, but I think something has changed in the latest updates of HSK. That now we need to put stuff. And we can, you know, we can play some just to be uh, in the same page of this area over here we can use architects and place some stone where we want our cooler space already occupied hmm. interesting so it will not allow me to have a cooler here oh that's a I think that was inex unexpected. So let me see if I can place it somewhere else before anything. It's not allowing me. It allows me to place here, but this will hit this area by a lot. And I don't want that, so where could I put it? No place. So can I build a copy over? Yes, I can. So this is what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to unconstruct this and construct some floors over and then build the walls. This will allow us to have the cooler. So I'm going to do this really fast over here. But after that, I'm, I think I'm just going to do all the, the walls over here. Uh, it's going to take a while for us to get a better freezing unit. Uh, and we're gonna have to rely on the small coolers as you can see on the message over here we got we finished beekeeping and let me show you this research screen yes I loaded the research screen prior to start recording so you guys don't have to wait for the loading screen for this uh, and now uh, since we have basic energy going on um, we started electricity uh, we have all the basic infrastructure I and we are getting into the spring I thought to myself hey let us research uh, a few crops so we can start working on them as soon as, as we as we get to spring and of course this will help us a lot if we can grow uh, some crops but you got to remember when growing crops there are some crops that need skill level growing skill level uh, great growing skill levels you know over 15 over 14 and that uh, will probably interfere with your planning if you don't have a very good farmer at your colony and if you don't don't worry all you have to do is just train someone to do it and to train that to train them all you have to do is just plant low level crops and let only that guy oh there's a squirrel here I'm gonna get that squirrel it's meat guys it's meat we need meat I'm obsessed by food I know I always have to have food 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 and look I take my eye off the screen a little bit and we only have nine units of food what's going on so I need to send them 30 and I need to them 30 what could I do so I don't have to keep doing this and this is one important tip for everyone you can go to bills and you can change the details on cooked fruit salad to 
do until like 20. So it will always give orders to produce fruit salads if we have less than 20. How about that? Isn't that good? It is good. I know it is. So this kind of kind of automate our fruit salad production. Uh, and I'm fine with that because I just gave an order off screen for them to collect more apples. But spring is right at the corner, so we're going to be able to collect more fruit real, real soon. Oh, there's another raptor here. He died. Why did he die? Let's see. Oh, Megasloth killed him, which means probably there's a Megasloth dead somewhere around here. That's great, isn't it? All right. Oh, fire. Let me see. Let me see if this is the guy. Nope. I know we had like four or five mega slots. Let's see if I can find him here. One. Oh, there's another one down here. Yes. Health. No, so probably... There is a dead mega sloth somewhere, and I don't know. And this fire is really upsetting. 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 Oops. This is gonna be a problem. There's still a raptor here. Let's see if Kid can sneak past this raptor. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Probably what happened is that we have crash bugs on the map, and they already ate the Megasloth corpse, which is a pity. Alright, let's not worry about that. Oh, we have to worry about this, I almost forgot. So, what are we gonna do here? We're gonna make natural floors, we're gonna place a floor right here, and we're gonna tell Guga to prioritize this construction. Yes, you gotta work on this ASAP. I think I'm not content with this setup, because I don't want this door over here. I want this is gonna be your prison. I think I have already talked to you about about this. This is gonna be a prison, and this is gonna be our infirmary. And I, I want probably people to assess the prison only by the infirmary. Uh, but I'm not sure that would mean we have to move this and make a door over here. But this is just a design. Uh, decision is not something that you have to worry about if you're playing the game it's just something uh, the thing that you have to worry about of course is you know making things look great look enjoyable and of course be efficient like not this setup here where iron ore is over here and the furnace over here I was just lazy and I didn't change it so kids bringing the corpse what I'm gonna do is is there ah, I'm gonna expand this zone over here and then I'm gonna shrink this zone over here and I'm gonna leave this area for corpses or not so this is ready so now we can produce a structure a granite wall and we're gonna replace here uh, since outdoors it's one degree we might get away with this. Where is Guga? Guga, just leave this here and come prioritize on working on this. This is very, very important. And I think the guys finished the conduit place. Uh, we can probably really soon start making some electrical lamps to light this area. Uh, let me see if Guga... Oh, Guga's gonna finish this here. Great. Let's speed up a little bit. Alright, so let's see if that deals with that problem we saw. Still cooler? Yes, it does. There we go. So someone is gonna make it. Uh, eggs. Um, for... I think it's gonna get refrigerated again. But I'm not sure. We have three cold stone batteries here. It's supposed to... Oh, there we go. It got to zero at least. It got to minus one. 
minus 2. Alright, it's right over here. See? Great, so we don't have to deal with that anymore. Um, food is being produced. And once again, oh, spring is here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all my animals, at least the muffalos. I'm going to take them to pasture one and allow them to feed over there. Oh, I took everyone. This is going to be a little tricky to handle because we still don't have enough food for all. Vegetables research. We can probably plant some grass. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Let's do that. Growing zone. I'm gonna leave one, two, three, four. And I'm gonna make a 10 by 10 growing zone where we're gonna be growing hay grass. There we go. This is gonna allow us to collect grass in a more efficient way while we train our ponds on agriculture which is good. We still haven't got a lot of uh, muffalo wool. We only have 46 blue fur pelt. But we'll get there soon enough, I believe. So our life in our colony is doing... Oh, there's, there's a guy over here. I want to trade with them. So you guys remember, when you want to trade, all you have to do is trade improvement. And Kid is the best one, but he's hurt. I think he's hurt. Let's see. Let's tell him to trade with the Carvian. Carvian. So our, ne our negotiated kid cannot hear properly because of poor health. This will affect trade prices. Okay. We can leave at that or you can choose another one. Uh, it's not necessarily... I, mean, I don't know if the trading price improvement is taking that into account or not. I think it is, but... Uh, don't write that on stone. So what I'm going to do, what do I want from him? I want all the medicine I can get. This is very, very important. Uh, we still haven't got a, uh, another raid since that last raid. But I feel it's coming. So we got to take care. I'm going to use him to get ready of some seeds that I don't want. And Patron Brew, a bottle of Charming Supporter Base Alcohol. This is a night in Sky added to the game uh, and paid respect to the people that is giving him Patron signatures. But that's not what we want. We don't want, we don't want for now alcohol into the base, so I'm just going to use it to pay my medicine. Hmm... I have one incendiary grenade. I don't really want that. I'm gonna sell it. What else? What can we sell? We have a whole bunch of strawberries. I'm gonna sell it. Mm. Oh. I'm niches. Oh, this is a whole bunch of money. This is a lot of money. It is, isn't it? Oh, eggs are very worthwhile as well. So we can get ready of the eggs. I didn't know each egg was worth 4.8 bucks. This is very nice. I'm just gonna leave it. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna use it to to pay my debts my debts here. Uh, okay. And I have money to do that. Let's accept it. And now we have a whole bunch of medicine. And this is this is really, really good. Uh, hopefully our herbal medicine is over here. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay. So what do you guys want to see next? Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Ooh, artifact. Found an artifact. This is some bad news. This is the end of the colony right here. Uh, I believe this has a chance of spawning some mechanoids and a chance of spawning some loot for us. Either way, it's bad news for the colony. This is an event that 
we don't want. So we're just gonna leave it to rot uh, on the wild. I'm not sure if it will rot, but we're gonna leave it right like that. Uh, I'm not gonna mess with that. This doesn't. It's not part of the tutorial to deal with that. I think we have a lots of things before we put everything at risk for the colony. We only have a one rifle, and Google is not even carrying it because. For some reason, he's he's bulky. He's too bulky. He can't get the rifle, and I believe he has the rifle, don't you, Guga? Oh, but you're not carrying the. Oh no, this is GG. You should be carrying the the rifle. Come on, but the bulk is twelve. How much bulk do we have left? With bulk base capacity, we could he could carry this. Let's give the same order again. I don't know why he's not going for it. I have been having problems with it. But let's see if he goes to get it. I think it's a mass or bulk problem for sure. Um show. I forgot to tell you guys. Uh, I moved the machining table over here, and I also start building this steel hand concrete mixer, so we can make some some concrete. Hooray! Are we in luck today? Let's see what's coming. A group of Norbals from Alliance Well Foof have arrived nearby. Looks like they was they want to use sappers to turn around your defenses. This is gonna be hard. Let's see. Let's see what we have here. We still haven't recruited Jackie, so this is gonna be hard and they have a whole bunch of Sintian bowls. Let's see if those are Sintian bowls. Yes. Those are nasty bowls, man. I'm not sure how we're gonna handle this, but we're gonna have to. And maybe this is the end. I was talking about not getting the artifact, but we're gonna have to deal with this raid. And no cheating. Uh, let's see what way are they going. Ah, uh, they're probably gonna be gonna come. Oh, I always forget about this, but it, this is a good policy. If you have multiple areas for your animals and you don't want them to be killed by raiders, just as soon as raid comes, send them inside. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna get ready with Kid Adenia. Also, is gonna come. Um, Rebecca, of course, she needs to come. I'm just gonna send her here for now. Where is Guga? And I'm gonna tell Guga to equip the rifle. I don't know why he's not doing it, but I'm gonna tell him to do it. And let's see what way are they going to come. This is our guys. Let's see if Gigi can help. Uh, Gigi has a nice melee, so she's gonna be uh, close to us. And even so, you know, you always need people to carry wounded and stuff like that. Sidfu is useless for combat, but he may help with uh, carrying people or distracting someone. Uh, those are guest beds. I'm gonna change this to a medical. I'm not gonna make any prisoners. And let's see how we fare. Did I send you guys over there? I want to send you guys over here. Yes, let's see. They look like... Where, where are them? Uh, they look like they're going to come this way. So... Let's get everyone over here. Oh, Ash, I almost forgot you. You are a valuable asset to our enterprise. So, let me see how I'm going to deal with this. This tutorial is about base building, not about... Let's get Google in the position to shoot. I need... GG as well in the position to defend. 
Ash in the position to shoot. Wait, are you? Oh, hello. Okay, in the position to defend, and let's get a Dania in the position to fight them as well. Come on, Ash. Google, come on, you gotta, you gotta. We need to get tormented down. Get tormented down. Oh, they started. Ah, they're gonna start shooting. All right, so we got tormented down, and now we're gonna be, be fighting Vol, that has a normal bow let's get some aimed shots flying over here they're behind the tree so I think I should send oh this is a hard decision I'm not sure if I should send two melee fighters down the road to get flaw this is worse. I think he got shot. Oh, just arrows. I'm gonna need to send Rebecca and Keith over here. Alright. We are engaged in melee fighting. Let's see, what is... Oh, he's not good as Rebecca in melee. Rebecca is, is a freaking ninja. Kid is a ninja as well. And I think if someone hit Kid, she's gonna bolt them. Alright. Let's see if the... If Flawed has... Oh, he's... He's being hit much more by, by, and I'm the kid. Let me see, Vol. Oh, he has a whole bunch of sh shootings. What is this gun? Um, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. it's a uh, point three. Guga, you haven't hit any freaking one. I'm gonna make you drop this helmet, man. Bring Adania back. I think you only need to hit to to get one more down. Come on! Yes, they are running. Flawed bio. Nimbo misogynist. Let's see, Vol. This guy. Oh, he's a psychotic. He hates dumb labor. I'm not gonna. He's a good soldier, though. We need him now. Uh, we got to a point at our colony that we need more people. This is our priority. And I know you're going to say, hey, Google, if this is our priority, you should have a whole bunch of beds over here. Yes, I should, but I don't have enough leathers, enough stuff to make them. We were just spending winter. This is our, That was our first winter for the first year. Um, and we just don't have enough resources, but we are prepared. We are prepared in this next year on the rim it's gonna be better for recruiting people but also we haven't even be able to recruit Jackie you know uh, and I'm not sure why <sighs> she has 14 resistance remaining so we got to work on that uh, the names of those guys are awesome hauling Greth and hollow storm I want you man are you a man no, I don't want to. <laughs> you suck. You just have a nice name. <laughs> Hollingrath, on the other hand, he's a cold lover, he's nimble, he has good shooting ski, he could be a hunter. Um, he won't care for people. Val, psychopath, 
flawed. He's a misogynist, he distrusts women, but he has nice crafting skills. He would be a nice addition. Let's see Tormented. Oh, he's trigger happy, he's strong constitution, he's rockbound. Oh, he's a nice miner as well as a nice crafter. This guy is worth our while. Let's see Swift Wind. Psychic death, paranoid. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Oh, he has good plants. Those two guys are really worth our while. Let's see their health. Oh, this guy's. This guy's gone. Tormented. That's your health. Oh, you're gone as well. You lost both kidneys. That's not gonna happen. I need some um, blunt weapons, you know, to start getting more colonists. Because <laughs> we just freaked up those two guys. And those were the best ones to get. So, uh, let's leave it as is. Uh, we're not going to bother with this right now. What I'm going to do is just I'm going to strip those guys. I'm not even going to try it, you know. I'm going to send Rebecca. Rebecca is like... I'm gonna strip them. I could kick I could kick fall flawed right now. Let's go. Rebecca. Get him. Nice. <laughs> Leave that cinchin bow over here, my friend. There we go. Now let's strip him and strip ball as well. Strip ball as well. All right. So you guys saw me. You guys saw me the saw the improvements that I did on the base. You saw the basics of what I'm doing next. You know, getting power and making sure that we have don't forget after installing a cooling unit that you have to decrease the temperature the target's temperature that you want i usually put at minus 10 degrees celsius and this makes everything work fine uh, we have three cold batteries with another one here it will be fine but i think it's time for us to end episode again after each raid it seems like a good idea i'm gonna I'm going to organize this mess. Everyone has died already. Uh, I'm going to organize this mess. And I think it's time for us to start uh, rethinking about uh, equipment. And improving uh, chances of, you know, of a fight. We have some metallic arrows here. We really need more beds and we really need more quarters. This is not enough. And I believe I'm going to start expanding uh, this area over here. It would be awesome if we had uh, that miner guy to help us with this. But I'm going to wor be working on this. Uh, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Uh, there's a whole bunch of things we still need to cover. Uh, but we are getting there uh, slowly but surely. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you have done differently. Let me know how would have you done this on the comments below. Let's interact like that. It helps a lot. Uh, so thanks a lot for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and like if you did like. It's very important for the channel. And I'll be seeing you soon on the next episode. Alright, talk to you later.